I'm gonna teach you my simple technique to get the perfect wing with your eyeliner. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my simple technique of how I do my winged eyeliner. It's so simple, it's so easy. So if you are a beginner, this is perfect for you. Or if you just wanna try a different method that I find so easy, let's get started. So I've been doing wing liner for years. It's been like my signature look. So I have a lot of practice when it comes to eyeliner styles. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do this easy technique to get the perfect wing liner. So a lot of problems that people face with their eyeliner is uneven lines, maybe you do it too thick, or uneven wings. So hopefully with this technique, it will alleviate all of those mistakes and help you because it truly has helped me to do this in the simplest way. So this is the liquid eyeliner that I like to use. I feel like it's so easy because of the way it's made. See this tip right here? This tip is so small, it's so precise, and it helps me to just make those even lines and to get a very clean look. And that's what I love the most about it. And with this eyeliner, I feel like I have the most control. What I love most about this technique is that you can do it in three steps. So let me go ahead and show you the first step. I'm dipping the tip into the container and I'm making sure I don't have too much on the brush because I don't want to go in heavy. Always in makeup, start off light, and if you wanna add more, then do so. So I like to start right here, and all I do is going upward, draw a straight line, like so. And then I like to go to the end right here where I stop that line, and I like to kind of look over and take my brush and bring it in. As you can see here, I did not go all the way to the middle of the eye, but I go kind of one fourth into my. <laughs> Dear, I'm sorry, I laughed because I said one fourth. So, as you can see here, I did not go all the way to the middle of my eye. I stop right here, right before the middle. So, I don't go all the way over and I don't go all the way to the middle. I stop right here. And then the final step is to fill it in and make it the neatest that you can. So I'm dipping the brush in for a little bit more product because this is where we're gonna fill it in. So retracing that line and filling in, filling in and making it a little bit thicker and even right here. And that's how I do my wing. So as you can see, it's given me kind of like a cat eye and it has just brought up my eye look compared to this one. See the drama that it's brought? I love that. Now the reason I like to do my liner this way is because I like for my lashes to show. If you take the liner and you go all the way over, that is a beautiful look, but it can also hide your lashes. My lashes aren't extremely long, so I like to stop there so that when I put on my mascara, they really pop. So the eyeliner I use in more detail is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner in the color Jet Black. It's so good. It is the best liquid eyeliner I've found so far. And I've used a lot of liquid eyeliners and this one is the best by far. I love how dark and jet black it is and it dries matte. It's not that shiny eyeliner. And guess what else? It's only $3, $3. So yes, get your hands on this and fast. 
So like I said, the reason why I do my eyeliner in the way that I do is because I want my lashes to pop. And I'm gonna show you by using these mascaras. And I want you to see the difference that it makes when you don't go all the way over. The first mascara I wanna show you is by Smashbox. This is one of my pricier mascaras, but when I say it's worth the money, it is worth the money. It makes your lashes look long. It makes them look dark. It separates them. It gives them volume. It lengthens them. It does everything. So I really suggest getting your hands on this mascara if you're looking for the perfect mascara. And now I do have an affordable option for you. This is the mascara by Essence. It's only $5, okay? And it is so good. It is one of my absolute favorites. I will always, always, always repurchase this. So it's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And when I say that's the perfect name, it's the perfect name. It actually makes me feel like I have on natural falsies. And it's just so good. What I like about this is that it also does a lot of what that Smashbox mascara does. The only thing about this is that it can get a little bit flaky and I don't have that experience with this mascara a lot, but sometimes it could happen, but not enough for me not to repurchase this over and over. It will always be in the top favorites of my mascaras. Ooh, I had to take a second. It was getting hot in here. But anyway, so I wanna have a little bit of fun with you. I'm going to put these mascaras on off camera and when I get back I want you to tell me can you spot the difference comment if you can spot which one is the expensive option or which one is the cheaper option you all we are back i have applied the mascara and i could not wait to get back on here to see which one do you think is the affordable option and which one was the most expensive option can you spot the difference here's this eye and here is the other eye can you spot the difference i'm gonna get my husband's opinion all right so i'm gonna ask my husband He's in here and I want your honest opinion, okay? So I used two different mascaras. One is $5 and one is, I believe, $28. So which one do you think is the expensive side? I can't stop smelling. Uh, Come on, uh, which one anticipation. I, the one I think that's the most expensive side. Is my right or left? Is, is your left. I oh, know it's weird because you're facing me. Yeah. Is your left. This one. You that think one. this one's the expensive one? Because it is, it's, it's darker and it's thicker. It's darker and thicker. Yeah. And this one is? It's lighter and more, it looks more, like a, it looks more prettier though to me. Uh, That's what I said. So which side do you like best? Like if I could only pick one to wear, like which one would you pick? Because I have a favorite. Ooh, I would pick this side right here. Okay. Yeah. And you think that's the what? I like, I like that one. Okay. So guys, so guys, after much conversation that you all just saw, you were correct. All correct? Yeah, I mean, you you were correct in, I have to think about everything you said, but you were correct for the most part, mm -hmm. okay? So this is the affordable option side, and you said it was the prettier side. Yeah. You said it looked lighter, but I thought you would have thought this was thicker looking. Yeah, I'm thinking because no, that side looks thicker. This side looks thicker. Okay, yeah. I thought this side did. So I think because it it looks more like like you pay like you paying for a thicker look. So I actually changed my opinion while doing my mascara. I actually sat there and was like, which side is actually the way I want my lashes to look, the prettiest side? And I feel like it's the affordable option side. Let me know down below what you think. Which side do you like the best? Was hubby right? I feel like I like the affordable essence side the most, which is funny because I've never paired the two side by side, but I did notice similarities. That's why they were my two top favorite ones. So I hope you liked my easy liner technique. If you want me to do it again and so you can grasp it, I'll do that. Just let me know if you try it out and let me know what your results are. I know they're gonna be amazing. If you enjoyed this video, which I did, as you can tell, Please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to think about subscribing because we would love to have you here as part of the community. And as always, I love you, Jesus loves you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.